Hey all, um, just a quick um, podcast on chest x-ray anatomy. Uh, this is going to be important for future classes and future podcasts. So I thought I'd kind of start um, with some of the basics. If you look at the chest x-ray, um, obviously you can see a lot of bones. And I'll go over these real quick, even though I'm sure that um, pretty much all of you understand what they are. Clavicles. These are the posterior ribs. And if you trace a posterior rib, you can see it traces right around here and turns into the anterior ribs. And of course, they're on both sides, posterior ribs. These are your shoulders, of course. And your trachea. Uh, you can see it coming down and it looks like the carina is about right there makes it a little bit difficult to see on this particular film uh, you have the right um, main bronchus coming off right here and of course the left that you have a difficult time seeing comes off on this side and of course, if you're um, looking for ET2 placement, you want the ET2 to be approximately five centimeters above the carina. So somewhere up in here. And uh, the vertebrae you can see on a film that has decent technical quality. You can see a vertebrae here, here, here. And you can count down. I'm going to erase all these, then I'll show you how to count. So let's start with counting the ribs. You can see the first rib. And let me change my color here. You can see the first rib coming like so. And this is T1 vertebrae. T2, T3. And you can see that they match up with the ribs. So here's first rib on the other side. Here is second rib. And this is third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. You can see the tenth one gets buried by the uh, diaphragm, which is a mark of a good film, technical quality film. T4. T5, T6, and you can see the carina is about T6 on this film, which is about right here. All right, so I erased that last part, and we're going to go over the cardiac silhouette now. You can see, I'm going to trace it here first, and we'll go over the various parts. So this is the car cardiac silhouette and all the various bumps and such. You can see this right here is your right pulmonary artery. And right atrium is right about here. Your ascending aorta is here. The aortic notch I'm sorry, the aortic arch, I mean. Uh, the aortic pulmonary window is this little space where it curves in right here. And your left pulmonary artery is right here. The left atrium is right here. And of course, this is your left ventricle. And you can see Kind of a line coming right down here and this is the left side of the descending aorta you can see that on most patients most decent films and onto the diaphragms you can see the right diaphragm 
right here. Oops, try that again. Right diaphragm right here. And it's sitting on top of the liver. And it's usually higher, normally higher than the left diaphragm, which is right here, which sits on top of the stomach. This dark circle here is a gastric bubble. And of course the pleura is out to the edge like this in a normal patient. Of course you get a tension or a pneumothorax or something that it's not going to be out to the edge. Excuse my drawing. And on either side of the um, chest x-ray, right here and here, you have your costophrenic angles. And of course, they are important for various things, which we'll get into later. And then we move on to the various fissures in the lung. Sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. This one looks like this is the horizontal uh, fissure right here. Uh, these fissures divide the um, lung into lobes. We have um, your right upper lobe, which is up here. Then right down here, right, I mean, you can't see it, but it's right about here. This is going to be your right middle lobe, and then your right lower lobe. Of course, the right side has three lobes, and the left side only has two. In the left, you can't really see either, but it comes about like this. And um, left upper lobe and left lower lobe. And this is where the right upper lobe lies. And here is the right middle lobe. and the right lower lobe. You can see they kind of fold and they're behind and in front of each other and just not think of a three-dimensional space. And left upper lobe. And left lower lobe. So that's pretty much it for the PA view only anatomy. We'll do a separate uh, podcast for the lateral view and real quick before I stop uh, go over the basic reading remember it's a a b c d e a for airway b for bones c for cardiac silhouette d for diaphragms e for everything else so real quick airway Looks like the crine is about right here, your right main bronchus, left. Look at your bones, clavicles, no fractures. Look at your ribs, go over each rib. You're looking at the posterior, then follow it around to the anterior rib. It's a little harder to see on a PA. Do both sides. Don't see any fractures. Cardiac silhouette. Make sure that you can see all the cardiac silhouette and nothing is blocking it. If there's something blocking a portion, for instance, here or over here, then you could have a, a right um, middle lobe process going on here or maybe a lingual, left ling or lingual uh, process going over here. Look at your diaphragms. Costrophytic angles look good. Make sure you can see all the diaphragms on both sides. Make sure the right slightly slightly elevated and it looks good. E for everything else. Make sure the pleura goes all the way out, which it does. The lung markings, uh, vascular markings here go all the way out, which tells you that. Look at that on both sides. Uh, look at your markings inside the lungs, lungs in general. Make sure there's not a, any air bronchograms, uh, cuffing, etc. going on. And again, this here is a normal airway. Of course, that's your gastric bubble. Take that systematic approach every time you read a chest x-ray. Otherwise, you will miss things. 
And some people read them in patterns. I like doing the systematic approach. The patterns tend to stand out, but I find personally I miss more if I just do patterns. So I do the A, B, C, D, E every time. And um, don't get too excited when you find one thing because sometimes there's more than one thing and you might miss a second or third thing. All right, this concludes this podcast. Hope you guys enjoy it. And um, I'll be coming out with some more. Thanks.